Do you find yourself stuck on the side of the road with a broken down car in a haunted town that may or may not bring Why, about yes, the apocalypse? Why, yes, I do, TV salesman. Why don't you tell me how I can fix this problem? Well, first of all, you shouldn't talk to the advertisements. That's a sign of an unhealthy brain. Okay, <laughs> I'll be quiet over here. I got the duct tape. And second of all, you should call Tyrus's towing. There's a memo. I'm not sure what the noisy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in noisy? the middle. The lake is north. No, that says nosy. Nosy? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what he meant when he said the home is his his home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. I think that means he lives in the orphanage, and the lake is across from. The lake is in the northwest. Why do we need to know? So that means that if you're at the lake, the opposite direction of the lake is the uh, southeast. Okay. It's giving Good. you some landmarks. Awesome. The nosy guy said one other thing. I don't understand. If you bring the dug-up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Okay, that's good. All right, so I got his memo now. Can I drive this? Can I drive yes, this? Yes, for only 500,000 payments of 599, you too can be a part of Tyrus's towing tribulation thing. Listen, here's how it's going to go down. You're going to buy $600 worth of car parts. You're going to buy one car part every four months. By the end of the millennium, they're gonna have a car. Now look at this. Yes. Place. This person doesn't person... exist. It doesn't exist. Beat him in the head. Beat him in the head right now. Use that pipe. He's gonna turn on you. You can't trust him. Go to town. Come on, Babe Ruth. Show him, show him why they call you the Babe. I think this was the guy looking for the devil. Na Akihona. Akihona. They used a, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the Mother Stone. They're just uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. Huh. They, they used to collect orphans and, and, and d d did things to them. Aww. It's terrible. <laughs> you know anything else? He gives you the Can I leave? Everything's chill, terrible. Chill, chill, huh? you're, you're in... I'm in, I'm in the horrible place. I mean, I don't even know why you'd want to go on vacation here. I mean, I honestly, if I had a chance to go up against the zombie apocalypse or take a trip to Silent Hill, zombie apocalypse, no problem. No problem. Walk in the park in comparison. <gasps> Walk in the park! You are going on one. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> the human being thing there. Oh, dog. <laughs> oh, you can Get the crap out of <laughs> these moss covered sloth demons. Sloth covered, yeah. I'm a dodging man dodge sometimes. Do you even dodge, bro? No! You got bullets. Yeah. Oh! Uh, what? I'm so glad that didn't get me. We're going! You should, you what should... all these things here? Like, not this is horrible. Way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of want to check this well. Too dark to see. Okay. Yes, well, it's monsters. Wells always have amazingly interesting and friendly things and things in places like this. You know what? This, the graphic style is reminding me of something, and I finally figured out why it's so familiar. I, I wonder if this came out around the same time as Resident Evil 4. Because uh, it really does. I'm thinking a little bit before. Probably a little bit before. The Wish House. Okay, can I go through? Or do I just have to... Okay. He said he lives at the... There we go. The, they, the nosy guy said he lives there. Some Someone does. At this orphanage. And there's a big orange hole. Hmm. You should go save. Uh, I should. Alright. I'm gonna cut out the, the saving trip, so we'll be right back. Be in the land. Baby. 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 Baby Crockett. Builds all the things in the playground because baby, baby.
Baby Crockett. This must become kind of kid's toy. Maybe it's something that they might Baby sleep bot. in. Why is a crib out here? Oh no, it's a it's a cage. It's a play cage. Come on, kids, play get in the cage. cage. You should placate that cage. Let's play a game called Get in the Cage. How do we play Get the Cage? Stop. Shut up. Hey, who taught look. you how to speak words? <laughs> I, I'll remember that uh, comic forever. Hey, Jim, what's that? A murder hole? Well, how do you get in the murder hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I just want to see what's on the other side of this. Did I already check the other side of the house for ammo or anything? Okay, this is the wish house, and we just saved before it, and it's going to be... Oh! Maybe I don't care. Is that where I came in? No. That's where I came in. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna check this door first. Maybe it's locked. I'm hoping it's locked. Come on, Pigeon Man. Oh, okay. Do you remember the show Hey Arnold? Of course I remember the show Hey Arnold. Do you remember Monkey Man? Uh, kinda. Does he look he similar funny. to the evil monkey in Family Guy? In design? No. He was he was just a normal man, but he uh, was like an urban superhero. Huh. Except he had no superpowers. He just okay. So that was Locke. So he we fought for the underdog right kind of a guy. Oh, good. That, that show had a lot of interesting characters like that. Like there was this guy who liked pigeons a lot, and at the end of one episode, he got carried away by pigeons. Helga is a distance. very unattractive name, by the way. No, Helga is a very unattractive character, but she. I don't know, I feel like each of the characters represented a different aspect of, like, the average child. Yeah, definitely. It's pretty much fun. Like, she was the, the obsessive aspect. Out? Hmm? Remember when the movie came out? Yeah, I always saw it, like, once. I don't remember, but I was just so happy. I was just, uh, like... the, it was, like, an even more extreme version of that one episode where someone's trying to destroy their, uh, their treehouse. Yeah. Or their lot they played in or whatever. Yeah. At that Except age, instead of just, just the like... treehouse and the lot, it was like they were trying to destroy the entire neighborhood to replace it with like a mini mall. Yeah, it was pretty much like it was one of my only times I uh, remember uh, like a show and then being able to then hearing that you can pay to see an hour yeah. version of it. You know what I mean? Like I remember when the SpongeBob movie came out, I saw that four times in theaters. Well, I liked the first Rugrats movie. That was good. Oh, I, I love the Rugrats movie. I love Rugrats Go to Paris. I don't remember it. I don't yeah, Go to Paris, was, I Paris was pretty good too, but then they made the Gone Wild or whatever it was, and that wasn't that great. I remember Gone Wild. I remember seeing it in the theaters, and I remember having the scratch and sniff things. It had yeah. like a foot and a banana, and uh, I think there was. I, like I remember a that me, my little there. sister, and my dad were like the only people in the theater for that movie. Yeah. It and it was like, like prime time for anyone to see it. That was awesome. They had the whole scratch and sniff thing. Who makes a movie with a, like base of scratch and sniff? That's amazing. It was pretty inventive at the time. I'm sorry, guys. My dog is begging for attention. I just want to get through this level, and I will give her all the love in the world. I'm not a dog abuser. I will just... I'm the best. Portable med kit, yes. He cuddles with his dogs while he sleeps. Because they don't understand existence. There's weird writing here, too. I had to bend down to see it. Just so you know. Some kind of body here. What? Now, what did I tell you about playing with bodies? Okay. I learned nothing. From... Ooh, Toluca Lake! Okay, it's... So the lake so we're is in north Silent west? Hill. We're in Silent Hill now. Because Toluca Lake, it's a Silent Hill name. We had, to swim, we had to boat across it on Silent Hill, too. So, the lake was northwest. What's this? We're riding on here, too. There's weird writing everywhere. You know, if they had a crossover of Resident Evil characters in a High Silent Hill game, the Those Resident Evil characters fans. would just bring, like, a thousand guns. Yeah. And just kill <laughs> yeah. The, the Silent Hill characters would be like, I don't know what's going on! And then the Resident Evil people would be like, I got this. And then, and then uh, Silent Hill will create something that bullets will not be effective on and will just torture and destroy and pick each and every insecurity out of all of the people from Resident Evil and break them down. And then Chris will punch it. <laughs> Chris will just come out, MUSCLES! <laughs> everything! You know what's interesting, uh, Silent Hill 
no, no, sorry. Uh, Resident Evil 6, the main character, is actually Albert Wesker's illegitimate son. Huh. Yeah. Did not know that. I haven't even given that a chance. Like, I literally read a review that said the series has kicked out all survival horror aspect. And to hear that from a survival horror game, it's just... It's not something that you get excited about. But... The guy, I heard the guy who's, uh, who basically was in charge of the survival horror aspects for the longest time. He's making a game that's purely survival horror called Zwei. S-W-E-I. And it's supposed to be like the most amazing survival horror experience. So, I mean, I don't even know anything about it. I don't even know. I don't know. That quote, but I think the most amazing survival horror experience was uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, yeah, but I, I find that a tad bit overrated. Like, there's two different types of horror. Like, there's... Cr I think my favorite survival horror experience, above all, is playing through the Cry of Fear. Um, not, not, not favorite, as in, like... Let me explain. Cry of Fear, playing through that single player, I got scared more than most games I've ever played in survival horror aspect... I had a great time coming, figuring out the puzzle and all that, and it wasn't even that hard. And it was a wonderful experience. As with Silent Hill, I loved Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. Beat Silent Hill 1 like a breeze, only had to use like a guy like a few times. Silent Hill 2, I had to use it a lot more, and 3, forget it. It was really hard. But like, I, I didn't use it most of the time. I mean, but those games legitimately scared me in ways that no other game could possibly do. Silent Hill basically feeds on the same fear that Amnesia does. The fear that at any given time, something could be happening, and you have no idea when. Whereas, Except in Amnesia, you have no method of self-defense, is my point. Well, yeah. Uh, That's a much more realistic kind of a, a horror. You're not going to be prepared by having a gun with you in every horrible situation in your life or something like that. Well, Whereas in Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you always end up getting a gun at some point. True. What is this person doing? She just likes to sit here. Is anything going to happen? So it, res it, resor it resorts you to a more primal kind of fear. The fight or flight kind of thing. Yeah. Gosh, I like that game. It's mass paranoia. It's paranoia incarnate. Like that game is great. But as I was saying with Cry of Fear, it's like... You're, you know that terrible things are going on. Same with Silent Hill. Like, you know that things are terrible going on, and, like, you you're, you have to expect them coming out soon. You just have no idea when. And whenever it does happen, like, you can defend yourself, but not poorly. And more times than most, it's not even worth it to fight back. It's just, like, you gotta run. But if you haven't seen the worst that Silent Hill can do, game form yet. I mean, I've seen what two, one, two, and three can do, and like I'm, I'm proceeding very gradually with this. Wow, the tol the tunnel has curves now. I See the little doll that just appears every now and then? Like, tell me that you don't. Who, Robbie the rabbit? No, no, no. That just that little doll that appears in the loading screen. Can I go past here? It looks like a ladder on the other side of that fence. No, never mind. Just another fence there. Weird writing here, too. Can I not read the weird writing? Like, I'm not so beautiful and so... but also sad somehow. Because everything around it is dead. What did going back in that house accomplish? Arsh, tell me the, the code. Oh, it, what was it? Uh, 916? Uh, uh, it was, uh... Uh, uh 16121. No. Okay. That well, that was what you got. Yeah. I wrote it down. Uh, maybe we'll try it on uh, some safe later on or something. Still gonna look for what I need to do. Okay, that what? scared the hell out of me. Oh crap! Is that those? No, that's that other guy. Okay. The we, guy you were giving trouble. Yeah, we missed a we missed a good scare on on required. That he, his eye was just there. Scared the crap. So he's just looking. It's like turning the corner and not expecting your mom to be there or something. Yeah, it's just like, you look in the thing and his eye is just there. Oh. Okay, that was a good one. That was a good one. Was it wasn't good. even intended. Anything in here? Did he open the door? 
No, he can't. There's chains all over it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jaws of life. Jaws of life, true. Uh, I should probably save, and then we should probably call the quits on this episode. How to save a game with Nile and Tyrus. Thank you guys for watching so much. We'll see you. On <laughs> it's been a wonderful time. Goodbye. You didn't. You didn't thank Chewbacca. Thank you, Chewbacca. <laughs>